In the heart of Vrindavan, where the ancient echoes of devotion meet the tranquil embrace of nature, there exists a sanctuary unlike any other. In a world where society often turns a blind eye to those in need, Sudevi Dasi dedicates her life to the forgotten souls of the bovine world, the sick, injured and handicapped cows. Join me as we journey into the heart of Vrindavan's Goshala, a place where love knows no bounds, resources are stretched to their limit and every penny is cherished. Meet Sudevi Dasi, a true guardian of the voiceless, a beacon of hope for the ailing injured cows of Vrindavan. For decades, she has dedicated her life to their well-being, overcoming incredible challenges and demonstrating a love that knows no bounds. Sudevi's so day starts at the crack of dawn as she tends to the needs of her beloved friends. From feeding to nursing, she ensures they receive the care they deserve. Every step she takes is a testament to her unyielding commitment. The Goshala, where Sudevi's mission unfolds, stands as a testament to her resilience. In meager conditions and with limited resources, she ensures that every penny is stretched to its limit. The legs had to be amputated in order to save her life. And because also sometimes the legs are kind of conditioned, the pain is just too much. No? The bone is crushed and broken and can be grown, so they have to be amputated. So Devi's work doesn't end with mere compassion. Many of these cows arrive injured or sick and she provides them with the medical care they need urgently. It's a labor of love and every recovery is a triumph. So um, there is, we saved them from the slopper house actually. There were 32 actually. They had an accident, so all small calves had grown up. They, is, there was an accident in front of the Goshala and they were hanging on their horns and uh, died immediately after we opened, uh, very short time after we opened the ropes uh, and we kept, I kept the rest even so the people who wanted to sell them to be killed, they put a lot of pressure on me and tried to force me to give them back because it's uh, money, huh? a few lakhs of rupees, I, of course it made them, I get, gave them an, an loss of a few lakhs of rupees and these people are quite violent but I, I said they okay, come to my shelter and they're licking my hands I'm not going to give them so they grew up and those uh, uh, village people who can make uh, keep them and they pull the, uh, pull the cart or do some work uh, they, I gave them to those people and uh, these are left they were 32 to give them all males uh, only one female among them the females, everybody wants, right? because they give milk, but the males, nobody wants. They have to be killed to eat them or, or to pull the cards. And these uh, buffaloes, of course, they are not cows, but they can be just as affectionate and, and emotional as cows. It's to, to think, just to imagine that they are killed. Every buffalo ends up in a slaughterhouse in the end. Female or male, male, male anyway, but the female also, and they give no milk, they go, because uh, they get sold for money. And I cannot just... Um, think that they are all caught, killed with so much terror and, and pain. As a result of Sudevi's tireless efforts, the cows under her care are now thriving. They roam freely, embodying the spirit of rejuvenation. <laughs> Sudevi doesn't walk this path alone. She does hire a dedicated team of caregivers to help her on her mission. Together, they provide a lifeline to the cows in need. She, uh, I fed her milk when she was little. She had her mother and I gave her to the friends. <laughs> they are all blind, all of them. Big bulls are here in the small uh, enclosures, excepting these ones, not enough place. 
Special. Sama special. So Devi's devotion and service knows no bounds, but her resources are limited. She needs our support to continue this vital work. It's time for us to come together. Your contribution can help provide food, medicine and support to Sudevi and her team. Together, we can ensure that the Goshala's basic facilities thrive and the cows receive the love and care they deserve. Every life is sacred and it's our duty to protect and care for these gentle souls. They may not have a voice, but we must be their advocates. So Devi Dasi's story is a reminder of the power of selfless service, of transforming neglect into love, and of the profound impact one person can have on countless lives. Let's join hands to help Sudevi in her noble mission. Together, let's make a difference. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if there are any other organizations that you would like for me to explore and make videos about.